Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. My name is Jasenia and I'm going to give you guys my week to week updates of my pregnancy. Today we are going to be discussing week number five. I'm currently six weeks today when I'm filming this video. And also I live in Japan on a military base, Misawa Air Base or Misawa Air Force Base. I saw a lot of these videos and I'm going to give you guys an update on different things from my fifth week and I'll be doing these week by week updates so I do have my cell phone here for if I need to use the calendar or anything I have my notebook here that says everything that I would like to discuss today with you and make sure that I don't miss anything out of the video let's get started my baby's nickname is Petrie and it is called baby Petrie because it's named after the little bird from land before time if you've never seen that movie it's a dinosaur movie I use four different pregnancy apps if you would like to follow along those of you who are pregnant. I use What to Expect, Baby Center, Obia Pregnancy, and Pregnancy Plus. For week five, for the size and development, my baby is the size of an orange seed. And the development for today is that your baby has past the one month mark hooray yeah! and it's steadily progressing the unresponsive newborn to nearly interact infant and you're steadily progressing from a rookie parent to a parent pro the development for the baby at five weeks is the baby measures about 1.5 millimeters which is the, the orange seed that's about the size of a orange seed the baby is growing rapidly and the major organ systems of their body are beginning to form specifically the brain and the heart body changes I have gained four pounds since being a pregnant I think only one pound this week but I also do weight training so that could also participate in me gaining weight gaining weight and muscle I also do notice sometimes I guess it would be considered bloat bloating because you have you're growing the placenta last night I said to my husband I was like look I literally have a belly but it's also known as bloating because you don't typically show at five weeks nobody would know that I'm pregnant anyway this is my updated picture for five weeks pregnant you can't tell that I'm pregnant all right and then also my temperature is a steady 98.5 Six. I do take my temperature every single day just because it's early in the pregnancy and if your temperature gets really high if you have a fever that could be a sign for a loss as well if your temperature drops to a certain level or a certain degree so I just like to make sure every time I wake up in the morning I take my temperature and make sure that I'm on the right track and I put it in my fertility app that I have on my phone which is a fertility friend app and it takes your basal body Body temperature chart and that's how I also knew that I was pregnant and you get to put down like symptoms and stuff too so this is another app that I use and I just chart my temperature just so that I know that I have it just in case I need to look back for whatever reason for reference also my boobs are bigger than normal but it literally feels like I'm just PMSing right before I get my period they haven't grown past that point I do notice that my nipples look a little bit bigger bigger than not normal which is a normal symptom to happen as well and those are really the only bodily changes I have a little bit of acne like one pimple right on top of my forehead but nothing crazy nothing that is really any different than my life typically physically I am weightlifting for times a week unless I'm super tired I'm weightlifting and I'm also doing some sort of pregnancy yoga whether that's yin yoga or regular yoga I am a certified 200 hour yoga teacher so I know not to hurt myself and what I can do and what I cannot do but also I watch the videos on YouTube so those are super helpful so you don't have to think about if you're doing something wrong they're already covering you with contraindications for pregnancy to begin with so that is one thing I love to do yesterday I worked on shoulders chest and triceps I do a pull day I do a push day and then I do a leg day and then last night I did a yin yoga I do a lot of walking as well I use my Samsung health app which tracks my 
my steps every day. I take on an average of 4,000 steps a day. My goal is 10,000, but I'm not there yet. We'll get there. But I am doing a lot of physically with working out and I was weight training beforehand. This is not something new either that I just started doing. I have actually been doing a 12 week challenge. So I have been weight training consistently week by week, but typically throughout my life, I've always been into health and fitness anyway, and I've always been working out. The symptoms I've been having for week number five is a lot of fatigue. I'm really tired. It's really hard to get me to do things. So I really have to push myself mentally. That's literally just how I do it. Like I got to get these done. I got to get this stuff done. The baby's going to be here in eight months. So this stuff needs to get done whether I'm tired or not. And I also look at it that I do not have nausea right now, which is the worst symptom possibly to have. I hate feeling nauseous, so I'm really grateful that I'm not nauseous. So I really try to prioritize and take advantage of that. I do have some insomnia. I would say for this week, I've only slept one solid night. All the other nights I have, no, two solid nights. All the other nights I did wake up from 2 p.m. and been up till 4 p.m. No, 2 a.m. I have been up from 2 a.m. to 4 to 5 a.m. I also have been having a lot of belching, a lot of burping, and a lot of gas. Uh, TMI, but hey, it's pregnancy, it's life, it's human, being a human. Also, I have been emotional, and I'll talk about that in a minute of why I have been emotional. Sorry, my camera cut me off, the battery died, I didn't know it was dying, so I don't know where I left off. Prego brain. Let's talk about what I am scared of. So so I am a little bit scared of having a PMDD relapse or even postpartum depression or PMDD symptoms after giving birth and PMDD is premenstrual dysphoric disorder. I do have a history of it. Last year I did heal it from up to 95% I would say and it's basically PMS on steroids. I'm not really going to get into it. I do have videos on my other channel if you want to go check out what that means and my Instagram link will be down below for that as well PMDD warriors that's one thing it's really mentally taxing physically and emotionally taxing but I'm making sure that I really eat healthy that I work out to make sure that does not happen another thing that I'm a little bit nervous about is that I do have a history of chronic back pain I did a lot of work this year to get to the point where I would be working out again for weight training and that is also why I continue working out those are really mild fears but it is in the back of my mind and then another fear is currently we have multiple doctors here you don't just get one doctor for your pregnancy and I have a sexual trauma history you don't get just one doctor here you get multiple doctors I requested to only have female doctors for all my appointments and for my delivery there is a male doctor on staff and there is a third percent of chance that I would get a male for my delivery I am in the process of working towards that and speaking to someone that could help me that is very triggering for me I have have had uh, triggers I've already emotionally that's where the emotions come in I've already cried twice about it this week it's really not the greatest when you go to your first appointment and this is what you're being told and I'm just being open and honest with you guys also the front girls at the OBGYN are not the nicest girls they're really not personable so overall my pregnancy experience hasn't been the greatest especially since it's my first pregnancy I am trying to be as positive as I can and really saying positive affirmations affirmations like I am safe, I am protected because I'm really trying to go into this as positive as I can. And also right now my family, some of my family members are not doing so well. So that is obviously worrisome and I feel sad about that too. Normal life being a human being. Um, I'm just being honest with you what I'm scared about. What I'm looking forward to is, uh, you know, the journey with my doula and my family and my family support and just the looking forward to even uploading these videos and having a baby and ha being pregnant. I'm looking forward to so many different things and this, this baby has already brought me so many blessings. Let's look into the recent purchases that I've gotten this week. We'll start with the first one. This is is an, a phone pod and it is an EMF protection. 
I will leave an article down below about EMF because I'm not going to go into detail of the, in this video. Maybe I'll do a separate video, but it's really to have my phone in there. It actually, I have a Samsung phone. I don't know how big a iPhone is. It actually does not fit it. Like I can't close it, but the purpose for it works fine. I bring this to the gym with me. I just want to protect the baby and myself as much as possible. I've always been someone interested in EMF protection. I even have a safe sleeve for my laptop. I've always had that. I'm a highly sensitive of person so EMF protection stuff really really helps me so I purchased this and I'll leave everything I'll leave all the links down below of what I purchased in case you want to purchase it this is one from one EMF company and this was only $19 so it's pretty cheap and that's my phone case another thing that I purchased is this mother special blend I've heard so much about it it's organic it has almond oil coconut oil cocoa butter and vitamin E it's really great for preventing stretch marks I rub it on my belly I Every day and yeah I specifically just use this for my belly and you can use it around like your hips and thighs if you want to you can use it your whole body but I just use the lotion that I have for the rest of my body so I can conserve this oil for connecting with the baby and putting it on my belly for stretch mark we have four set of books here that I would like to recommend and talk about the first two are books for dads now I tried to look for uh, videos on books for dads uh, recommendations and I couldn't find anything and I really think the men really get you know the short end of the stick when it comes to everything pregnancy it's very female oriented even linking apps together you just don't really see it so for the books that I got my husband is Benjamin Watson the new dad's playbook and I also went to the thrift store I actually found three books for like a dollar each and I found the expectant father book for him so I just got this for him yesterday then I found the conscious parent book which is really made for I guess when your child is old, older but I really like the conscious aspect of raising your children and the last book that I got is baby signs and this is how to talk with your baby before your baby can talk and there's like sign language you could do for with your babies before they speak and I just really love that I love the knowledge and I love science and how the brain develops Develops and things that you could do to really benefit your baby and I think that's just really awesome so those are the four books that I got yesterday and I also found that these two raspberry leaf teas from traditional medicinals I found them at the thrift store so the thrift store here on base is very common for a lot of people to use and this is really great to use for third trimester I'm in my first trimester I will not be using this it's specifically to help with contractions and for the end towards your end of your pregnancy so I got that and that is everything I purchased and that is my fifth week update on my pregnancy I hope you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to keep up with me weekly and I would love to hear if you're pregnant what week you're in and what's going on leave it down in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in my next video